So Max Local buys, when did that launch? We incorporated in 2013 after about six years of doing it charitably. The beginnings of Max Local Buys are extremely humble and very organic. Organizing meat buys, meat shares, was something I did uh, because I wanted to eat better meat at the end of the day. And an email list of friends and family over the course of about six years grew to be about 300 people. Uh, wow. And uh, spent a lot of time being the organizer of these things. And it was, like I said, nobody was making any money. We were just a group of folks who wanted to eat better quality proteins. Did you do this because you couldn't find it in the market? Uh, honestly, I did it because you get a better price when you buy a whole animal. I would send out an email and I would say, hey, I, I know about this farmer. Does anybody want to go in on the next buy? And based on the, the response, we would buy one and eventually we were buying two and three and four pigs at a time. And my wife said, why don't you just incorporate and do this like you've been doing? You're obviously very passionate about it. Why not, why not give it a go? Yeah. And so um, with her approval and certainly support, we launched Max Local Buys. The initial products were really just two things, a food subscription and these meat shares. Previously, you were just supplying people like through the CSA, and now you have a market, you're actually running a kitchen. How did Max Local Eats come to be? I really like smash burgers, and I'd been making these dry aged smash burgers for a while at home for yeah. like three or four years, and I knew they were really good. And I said, you know, if I was ever gonna open a restaurant, I would open a little South City diner, you know, and just sling these awesome smash burgers and short order stuff, and, uh, and that'd be it. And literally, I got this phone call about an opportunity to open a restaurant. And I was the like, universe all came it together was to very make it happen. Strange. <laughs> it was oddly strange, and it was it was great. It was a great opportunity, and then to also have a market right under the same roof, uh, in the same building, it was kind of a no-brainer. Absolutely. So, what kind of learning curve did you have? <laughs> So much. <laughs> uh, just understanding uh, the amount of work that goes into running a restaurant and a kitchen, that was probably the biggest thing of all. Once you commit to some regular restaurant hours, um, it changes the game. It changes the game, and it is a lot of work, right? Especially if you're making things from scratch and not just dumping things out of bottles. Truly, you're taking a diner approach to the food. I mean, a smash burger, number one, is my favorite kind of burger because you get those crispy edges, and yep. I love it when it's nice and thin and it kind of caramelizes. But you're making it with dry-aged beef. Uh, I think it's a great thing to say. Oh, we dry age a whole cow for four weeks, and then we turn the whole cow into ground beef. <laughs> we don't take the tenderloin out, we don't take any of the ribs out, we don't take anything out. It all goes into that patty. Theoretically, a little bit of each part, yeah. but certainly all from the same cow, which is- That's unusual. Unusual and uniquely awesome, yeah. for sure. So do you think we can get in the kitchen and see how some of those burgers come together? I think we can. Okay. Sounds great. I'm excited. You're gonna teach me how to smash them? I'll teach you how to smash them. So what is the secret to a good smash burger besides dry aged beef? Yes, besides the dry aged beef. Uh, there's a couple things. Um, in order to get a good crispy uh, on the edge smash burger, you really have to use a really small portion to patty. Um, two ounces you said. We like two ounces. Uh, anything bigger than that and you get a lot more moisture and that's going to inhibit the caramelization. Got it. Which is the best part. Which is the best part. There's no doubt about that. The other thing uh, that's going on here is when you put your portions on the flat top, within basically 30 seconds, you want to get that burger in the shape that you want it in. If you wait too long, when you go to smash it, you're going to smash all your juice out. Oh. Make sense? Yes. What does dry aging do to the flavor? In this case, uh, beef is about 70, 75% water. When we dry age the cows, um, we lose about 10%. It's literally less watered down. The longer you let that hang, the more the natural enzymes in the meat itself go to work on the, the protein fibers. And the longer it goes, it almost gets funky. Yeah, that's what you want. Correct, <laughs> correct. There's not a sauce in the world that will imitate that flavor that you get. So our classic burger is gonna be ketchup, mustard, pickle, onion. Got it. And you're in business. That doesn't look too bad. It looks fantastic. Thank you. So 
Tell me about the market. Like, what is the experience of the market? What can people get there? It's one-stop shopping for some really awesome locally produced items. Everything from uh, milk and cheese and eggs to retail cuts of proteins, uh, certainly pork, beef, uh, and poultry. How's it going? I'm good. Three choices of soup. I've got a curried butternut, I've got a regular butternut, and then I've got that ham and bean as well. And lard, and there's bread if you guys want some. Thanks for coming out, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. How did you become a customer of Max? Uh, we started as friends and just fell in love with the business in general. And I've met a lot of the farmers just from grocery bag pickups and other things with Max. And I just feel good supporting people that I know. Mac and these guys, they kind of plan it for us. I've never picked up a grocery bag where the ingredients in the bag didn't make sense. It's a really great way to cook healthy for our family. How about Max Local Eats? Which is your favorite burger? Uh, the pork burger. It is awesome. Get the pork burger. <laughs> Definitely do a double stack. Don't go with one. Get two. <laughs> Get two patties. It's delicious. This whole business, none of this was, this was not a goal. This was not, I was, this was no intention. This was, you know, like I tell everybody, that restaurant was not some concept I've been sitting on for five years, just waiting to execute, no. This is me going, okay, we have these products. What is the best way to kind of execute and serve them as food?